Hey guys. Um, I made a post the other day. There was um, one of the guys in the forum was we were talking about um, sprockets and chains and stuff, and the, they were starting to get some pretty loud clicks and stuff from down the front. And um, I'm not sure if the dealer did the install or not. But long and short of it, um, I said to the um, I said on the post on the forum. What you need to do is check that make sure that your your rear sprocket and your front sprocket are in line. And the easiest way to check that is with the chain. Now I've already taken the liberty to remove the chain guard um, off the bike. Um, there's a bolt here, yeah, bolt here, bolt here, another bolt hole down underneath in here. All right. And there's another bolt hole around on this side of the bike. Um, just grab your um, your brake line. Um, just give the thing a bit of a pull outwards on a rubber mount, um, and undo this other bolt over here. All right. So there's four bolts lifts up. Um, these are the two bolts. These two bolts here. They live down the front on your swing arm. Okay. So once you get him out. Um, you can then access the chain. Now the best way to do this is with a steel ruler, not or a plastic one or a wooden one. Now the reason I say that is because these rulers can easily get bent and um, they'll actually stay deformed. Um, I did have a steel ruler in my shed, a proper engineer steel ruler, about 30 centimeters long, but unfortunately I think someone liked it better than I did and they've helped themselves because I'm stuffed if I can find it. Anyhow, nonetheless, we will press on. So, um, bike's up on the stand, um, bike's in neutral, and we can roll the chain forward. All right, and um, now the best way to check this thing is, grab your ruler, now put it up on the inside of the chain. All right, see that? Now with my fingers, I'm actually pushing to the right, okay? So you lose, use some imagination. Imagine I keep pressing that way, but instead of pressing that way, I press it, press it up on the inside of the chain. So I'm still keeping pressure to the right of the bike. All right, and I'll see if I can roll this wheel forward. And we'll see how square my chain should be pretty much right. Let's see if we can get a look down there. Tell you what. Looks pretty spot on to me. Let's see if we can get that feather up. And so it should be too, because while I lined this fella only a few months ago and it's still looking pretty good. So she's spot on. Alright, essentially what happens is your ruler should run nice and square on that even edge all the way down there. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier if you've got a, a steel ruler. But yeah, essentially just push it up against the side like this. Okay, so yeah, use some imagination, just keep pushing it to the right. but shove it up against there but keep the pressure to the right and just very gently just roll the wheel forward roll it forward and then look down along the look down along the chain and um, yeah it should be nice and square so we can zoom in a bit there hopefully this camera picks up I mean it looks fine by my eyes but mind you the camera's not too flash but anyhow that's how it's all done um, now if Depending on the angle of the ruler, like, you know, if it's out something stupid like this, left or right, then what you're going to have to do is undo your axle bolts, alright, undo the axle bolts, um, just a smidge, then undo these fellas here just a smidge, okay, now when you go and rotate these, rotate them one flat, Let's see how that's like, you got like six edges to your bolt, rotate them around one flat either left or right okay so if say for instance if your ruler is on like up against the chain okay and the ruler is actually pointing out to the right that means you need to bring this side back this way so that means this side has to come forward so if you take this side forward that will take your chain and see your chain look like this straighten up like this Okay, so take it forward just one flat at a time, move it very, very forward very gently. Okay, um, 
Now another thing that we normally do is normally grab a block of wood. Once you've got the thing lined up and squared off, grab a block of wood, stick a block of wood in here, rotate the wheel forward and jam it up against the wood. That'll make your chain go nice and tight and tighten everything up. All right? Then remove your, your block of wood and then put your um, put your ruler back on, line everything up. Now I'm warning you, when you go and do this, it's not a five minute job. Not gonna happen. Okay, maybe depending how bad your chain is, it can take you say 15, 20 minutes. But I can assure you it's the best 15 to 20 minutes you're gonna spend working on your bike. Um, because you're gonna eliminate all the um, horrible clunking noise up the front. There's a little bit of a clunk up there at the front, but that's fine, that's that's pretty normal. Um, compared to what the thing was like um, when I got it back from the dealer, um, yeah, it's heaps better like it was out by a mile. Um, yeah, I'm stunned. Um, but now, it's all good there now. That sounds quite normal. Um, yeah, so once it's all, all um, once everything's all lined up, make sure you um, torque your bolts and stuff all back up. Make sure these fellas are done nice and firm. Double check everything before you go and put your cover back on. All right, make sure that um, your axle and stuff's all torqued up nice and good. Put everything back together and enjoy your ride. See ya.